For decades, scientists have aimed their telescopes at the stars, seeking to understand the mysteries of the universe. They've looked for planets, for signs of extraterrestrial life, and for phenomena that defy the laws of nature. But among these pursuits, one type of discovery stands out, the anomalies. These rare moments when something in the cosmos refuses to follow the rules, challenging everything we thought we knew. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, detected one such anomaly, and it may be one of the most important finds in modern astronomy. It all started with a routine observation of the third interstellar object ever recorded in our solar system, 3 i slash a t l a s What was initially expected to be just another faint speck in the distance turned into something far more puzzling. 3 i slash a t l a s is an interstellar object, meaning it wasn't born in our solar system, but was flung across the galaxy by an unknown force. When it was first spotted, it caught the attention of scientists because it had a trajectory that no local object could follow. It was clear that this object wasn't just passing through, it had come from somewhere far beyond our system. At first, astronomers thought it was just another curiosity, like its predecessors, Oumuamua and Borisov. However, something about 3i slash ATLAS felt off from the start. The object was unusually bright, much brighter than scientists expected based on its estimated size and composition. Unlike most comets, which tend to brighten as they release gas and dust, 3i slash ATLAS remained steady, as if it was glowing from within. Telescopes around the world turned their attention to it, and soon, the James Webb Space Telescope was brought in to take a closer look. JWST, with its powerful infrared sensors, was expected to clear up the confusion. But instead of providing clarity, it deepened the mystery. The telescope detected something extraordinary, a thermal emission coming from the center of the object, unlike anything seen in natural comets or asteroids. Typically, a comet shines because sunlight reflects off its surface, bouncing off dust and ice. But 3 i slash a t l a s didn't follow that pattern. Its glow wasn't simply sunlight reflected. It appeared to be internally generated, suggesting that it was emitting energy from within. Webb's observations showed that 3 i slash a t l a s emitted heat in a way that defied natural explanations. The object's thermal signature pulsed irregularly, as though it were powered by something, not just reflecting light. As the data piled up, scientists began to realize that this wasn't a passive object. There was something deliberate about it, something that suggested design. Some early hypotheses included ideas like radioactive decay, subsurface friction, or alien isotopes. But these quickly fell apart as more data came in. The only theory that could explain the object's behavior was that it was actively powered from within. As scientists from NASA, the European Space Agency, and other institutions studied the data, a clearer picture of 3i slash ATLAS began to emerge. Its trajectory was far too precise to be chaotic, almost as if the object was choosing its path, subtly adjusting its course as it passed through the solar system. Its rotation, too, was unnaturally stable, defying the typical patterns seen in comets or asteroids. Even when it passed close to the sun, it didn't behave as expected. The lack of a cometary tail, which usually forms when solar radiation heats the object and causes it to release gas, was particularly puzzling. Perhaps the most shocking discovery was that the object seemed to be made of metal. The albedo, or reflectivity of its surface, was measured to be unusually high, almost like polished metal. This was a far cry from the rocky, icy, or dusty surfaces typically seen in interstellar objects. If 3i slash ATLAS was made of metal and emitting energy, the implications were enormous. It was no longer just an unusual celestial body. It could be something entirely different, an artifact, a probe, or even a spacecraft. The concept of 3i slash ATLAS being a probe, potentially of alien origin, began to gain traction within the scientific community. The idea was no longer confined to the realm of science fiction or conspiracy theories. It was now being taken seriously by some researchers as a possible explanation for the object's strange behavior. If it was an alien spacecraft, it might be a long-range probe designed to travel through deep space for millennia, only activating when it reached a solar system worth investigating. This theory gained further weight when astronomers analyzed the light coming from 3i slash ATLAS. Photometric analysis revealed that the light from 3i slash ATLAS was focused in a narrow spectrum band, not a broad reflection of sunlight. 
This is precisely how we control light and technology, using LEDs, lasers, and spacecraft communication systems. More intriguingly, the light seemed to flicker, responding slightly to solar radiation. It was almost as if the object's internal systems were adjusting the light in real time, just as we would adjust the output of a spacecraft's communication system. This wasn't the behavior of a passive celestial object, it was behaving like a deliberately controlled emission of energy. Further analysis of the electromagnetic signals coming from 3i slash ATLAS revealed an even more troubling possibility. The signals didn't just look like random noise. When scientists applied signal analysis techniques, they discovered a structured repeating pulse. This wasn't just interference or a random signal, it had the unmistakable fingerprint of intentional encoding. Some scientists suggested that it could be a beacon, a message intended for other civilizations, or possibly a telemetry signal sent back to the object's point of origin. Whatever it was, it was clear that 3i slash ATLAS was not just a passive visitor, it was actively doing something. As news of these discoveries spread, some scientists and defense agencies began to worry about the implications of 3i slash ATLAS. Was it possible that this object wasn't just a probe, but something more? Some scientists began to suggest that it could be observing our planet, tracking planetary alignments, or studying electromagnetic fields. This idea, while speculative, was enough to spark concern among global space agencies, who quietly began to discuss the possibility that 3i slash ATLAS was not alone and that there might be other objects like it in the universe, sent to monitor or assess life in our solar system. As the mystery deepened, the possibility that 3i slash ATLAS was harvesting energy from the sun gained traction. The way the object's light output fluctuated with its proximity to the sun, combined with the lack of any visible chemical reactions, suggested that it might have a solar collection system or some form of photonic absorption mechanism. If this was true, it would mean that the object was a self-sustaining craft, capable of traveling indefinitely through space, refueling itself as it moved from star to star. The idea that 3i slash ATLAS could be a long-term interstellar probe sparked a new wave of excitement and fear within the scientific community. If this object was harvesting energy and moving through our solar system on a pre-programmed path, it would mean that we were witnessing the activity of an alien civilization. But what did that mean for us? If 3i slash ATLAS was just a scout, then what was it looking for? And if it was actively transmitting data, then who or what was receiving that data? This unsettling discovery raised more questions than answers, and as the data continued to pour in, it became clear that humanity was not prepared for the ramifications. Despite decades of speculation about the possibility of extraterrestrial life, the reality of an encounter was far beyond our understanding. Our political, scientific, and philosophical systems were ill-equipped to handle the implications of this discovery. Internal documents from space agencies around the world hinted at the same conclusion, we were no longer alone in the universe. As the world's scientific and defense agencies scrambled to process the data, one truth became increasingly apparent. Three, I slash ATLAS was not just an anomaly. It was the first confirmed contact, albeit on their terms, quiet, distant, and unsettling. The object's behavior suggested that it was not an invitation, but a surveillance mission, and we may have already been observed. This realization was not just humbling, it was terrifying. And the more scientists analyzed the object, the more it became clear that we were witnessing a moment in history that could change everything we knew about our place in the universe. As international space agencies continued to observe 3i slash ATLAS, something unexpected happened. The object's luminosity spiked dramatically, increasing by nearly 40% in less than two minutes. No natural explanation fit the data, and astronomers were left to consider the chilling possibility that the object was reacting to our presence. Was this an intentional flare? A message meant to be seen? Was it an awakening of some sort, triggered by its proximity to our sun or by our observations? This sudden flare was accompanied by a change in the object's thermal signature, as if systems had powered on. Theorists began to speculate that 3i slash ATLAS was no longer simply passing through our solar system. It had shifted its trajectory, moving slightly and subtly, but measurably. Gravity alone couldn't account for the change. This suggested that 3i slash ATLAS wasn't just a passive object, but a vessel capable of navigating space. If it was capable of propulsion, it meant that the object had a purpose, one that we could only begin to imagine. 
As more data came in, the mystery of 3I-ATLAS deepened. Its composition, behavior, and light emissions all pointed to the same unsettling conclusion. We were not witnessing a natural object, but something engineered, something intelligent. The question now was no longer just about the object itself, but about what it meant for us. Were we truly ready to make contact with an alien civilization? And if not, what would happen when the true message of 3I-ATLAS was finally revealed? The discovery of 3I-ATLAS is still unfolding, and with each new observation, the implications grow more profound. Whether this object is a relic of an ancient civilization or an active probe sent from somewhere far beyond our galaxy, one thing is certain. Humanity is facing the greatest mystery of our time. What is 3I-ATLAS, and what will we do when we finally learn the truth about it? Only time will tell. For decades, astronomers have searched the skies, looking for signs of life, strange phenomena, and objects that break the rules of physics. However, even the most experienced scientists are occasionally caught off guard by discoveries that push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. The James Webb Space Telescope, one of humanity's most powerful tools for peering into the depths of space, recently uncovered something truly extraordinary. A mysterious object named 3I-ATLAS that behaves in ways no one expected. At first, 3I-ATLAS was treated as just another interstellar object, like its predecessors, Oumuamua and Borisov, that passed through our solar system. These objects, thought to be visitors from distant parts of the galaxy, have intrigued astronomers for years. However, something about 3I-ATLAS felt different from the start. Unlike typical comets or asteroids, 3I-ATLAS was brighter than expected, its light consistent and unchanging. Unlike the usual behavior of celestial bodies, which tend to vary in brightness due to changes in their composition or the release of gas and dust, this steady glow indicated that the object might be emitting light from within, suggesting it was being powered by something other than the sun. To investigate this anomaly further, the James Webb Space Telescope, located a million miles from Earth, turned its advanced infrared sensors toward the object. The results were nothing short of astonishing. Webb's instruments revealed that 3I-ATLAS wasn't behaving like any known celestial body. Unlike a typical comet, which reflects sunlight off dust and ice, this object seemed to generate its own heat, emitting energy from its core. The thermal mapping of the object showed irregular pulsing patterns of energy that suggested something deliberate was at play. The irregular heat emission raised questions that scientists had never anticipated. Could 3I-ATLAS be powered by something artificial? Was it possible that the object wasn't a natural formation at all, but a machine, a probe, or perhaps a spacecraft? As more data came in, some scientists speculated that the object could be an ancient probe from an alien civilization traveling through space and collecting data on our solar system. Others suggested it could be an advanced technology from an unknown origin designed to study or monitor celestial bodies. The brightness of 3I-ATLAS also presented an intriguing puzzle. The object's surface reflected light in a way that resembled polished metal, unlike the icy or rocky surfaces typically seen in comets or asteroids. This finding was a shock to many in the astronomical community. If the object was metallic and emitting energy, then it wasn't just another celestial rock. It could be an artificial object, possibly even a spacecraft designed for interstellar travel. The more scientists studied the object, the clearer it became that this wasn't just a passing anomaly. It was something more, something that had been built with intention, not formed by natural forces. As the analysis of 3I-ATLAS continued, astronomers began to realize that the object wasn't just an isolated case. The trajectory of the object, the way it moved through the solar system, seemed too precise to be random. It appeared to be adjusting its course, subtly altering its path in ways that suggested it had some form of propulsion or navigation system. This was not the behavior of a typical comet or asteroid. The lack of a cometary tail, which usually forms when a comet heats up and releases gas, was another clue. It was as if 3I-ATLAS had been carefully protected from the intense heat of the sun, possibly by by a shell or casing designed to shield it from solar radiation. Perhaps the most intriguing discovery was the object's light. Astronomers found that the light emitted by 3I-ATLAS wasn't a broad reflection of sunlight, as would be expected from a comet or asteroid. Instead, the light was focused in a narrow spectrum, similar to the light produced by artificial sources like LEDs or laser communication systems. 
This was a huge red flag for researchers. The controlled emission of light, combined with the object's response to solar radiation, suggested that the object was not merely reflecting light, but was actively emitting it in a precise and controlled manner. This discovery led scientists to consider the possibility that 3i slash ATLAS was not a passive object, but an active one, perhaps a probe or beacon designed to send signals to other civilizations. Some suggested that the object could be broadcasting a message, perhaps a form of interstellar communication intended for a receiver that was not located on Earth. Others theorized that it might be transmitting data back to its point of origin, wherever that might be. The idea that this object could be a deliberate transmission designed to communicate with something or someone was a chilling thought for many. As astronomers at NASA, the European Space Agency, and other space organizations poured over the data, a disturbing possibility began to emerge. If 3i slash ATLAS was a probe, it might not be alone. The object's unusual characteristics, including its trajectory, its metallic surface, and its controlled emissions, all suggested that it could be part of a larger network of objects sent to monitor or study our solar system. This raised the terrifying question, what if 3 i atlas wasn't a one-off anomaly but the first of many such probes? And what if these objects weren't just observing but actively monitoring our planet, tracking our activities, and gathering data? The implications of this discovery were profound. If 3 i atlas was indeed a probe or some form of alien technology, it meant that we were no longer alone in the universe. But the real question was, what did this discovery mean for humanity? Were we truly prepared for the realization that we might be under surveillance by an advanced civilization? The possibility that we might not be alone, that intelligent life might be watching us from afar, was enough to shake the very foundations of our understanding of the universe. The idea that 3i slash ATLAS might be harvesting energy from the sun, using solar collection systems to power itself, suggested that it was self-sustaining, capable of traveling through space for centuries without needing to refuel. This added another layer to the mystery. If the object was capable of long-term interstellar travel, it could be a probe designed to explore the galaxy, collecting data from star systems like ours before moving on to the next one. It seemed that the object had a purpose, a mission, and we were merely the latest stop on its journey. As news of the discovery spread, astronomers and scientists around the world began to react. Some were excited by the possibility that 3i slash ATLAS could be evidence of alien technology, while others were more cautious. Despite the extraordinary nature of the findings, there was still no definitive proof that 3i slash ATLAS was a probe or spacecraft from another civilization. For now, it remained a mystery, a puzzle that was only beginning to be understood. But one thing was certain, the discovery of 3i slash ATLAS had opened up a new chapter in humanity's quest to understand the universe. And whether it was a message from an alien civilization or just another piece of cosmic debris, the implications were profound. For now, we continue to watch, study, and learn from 3i slash ATLAS, hoping that each new discovery will bring us closer to understanding the truth behind this enigmatic object. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to observe, we are left with more questions than answers. But one thing is clear, the universe is far stranger than we ever imagined.